So if any of you guys have been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that I have a myriad of devices to which I create artwork on. Um, they are tools, they are not uh, easy buttons, and they are not the end all of creating artwork. You know, you don't have a program or a device which pretty much covers uh, every aspect of your creative life. That's, you know, obviously up to you and how you develop. But you guys know that I love Microsoft devices. I've had Surface Pro 2, Surface Pro 3, I've had a Surface Go, I've had a Surface Book, I've had, and now I've got a Surface uh, Pro 5. Uh, I got this device on trade with a buddy of mine. And uh, I traded an iPad Pro 10.5. And you're like, bro, why would you trade an iPad for a Surface? That is so stupid, especially Pro. Well, I've already got an iPad Pro 12.9, uh, and honestly, I wasn't using the 10.5. It was sitting there um, being completely unused, and I felt like this guy needed, uh, you know, he was trying to get rid of his device, and, and I would have really wanted to help him out. So I took this Surface Pro 5 and came with, uh, this is the 12.9 um, variation, I believe. Um, I'm not sure if they come, I don't think they come in larger sizes unless you go ahead and get the Surface Book. But uh, this has the 8th generation um, i5 uh, processor. It's got 4 gigs of RAM, not 8. So I was kind of trepidatious about trading after I found that out. But at the end of the day, it wasn't really about getting the devices, you know, getting the device and working on it. It was about helping somebody out. So <clears throat> you guys know that, that Microsoft makes an incredible product. It's magnesium. This is a little bit, of course, older. Uh, and I think the new ones um, come in different colors, black and silver and, and probably a gunmetal. But the fit and finish and the quality of the Microsoft products is right up there with Apple. There is no question in my mind. They are definitely right on par. And even in some respect, they, they exceed Apple products. Uh, this is, of course, an all-in-one. This is the Pro line, so you're going to get a better processor, possibly... Um, a little bit better integrated graphics. Uh, you're not going to get an ARM processor. You're going to get an Intel dedicated um, uh, processor. It's not going to be you know one of those ARM pieces. Uh, it's got the kickstand, as you guys see, and it's got a little uh, SD card slot. Um, this is the 128 gigabyte variant i5. It's not the i7. Um, you guys know that I had the i7 processor uh, a while back in my Surface Pro 3, and it was great, and I think it was the third or fourth generation i7. <clears throat> so, uh, the guy that I traded was generous to include the keyboard, and it's got Windows Hello, so the keyboard gets detached, because I don't really use the keyboard, to be honest with you. I use it in the morning if I check my email. You guys can hear the thunder outside, and it is epic this morning. We're having super thunderstorms, so bear with me. I'm not on... Uh, power so if the power goes out it's not going to affect us at all so great keyboard uh, I love I love the keys uh, it's not a battery which you know I know before they had made a battery uh, keyboard but then they had so many issues with it I actually bought two of them and neither one of them worked so it's probably why they discontinued it uh, it is magnetic so whenever you're ready to connect the keyboard to the computer it connects and then it's got this additional little magnet right here that connects right here so it gives you a little bit of an elevation which is great uh, in terms of um, you know if you're gonna do any word processing or anything is this a powerful machine this iteration is not <laughs> uh, I've already gone through um, and messed around with it and in comparison to some of my other machines you know like my Dell and my HP it is not. This is kind of the lower end of the Surface Pro line, but it's still a Pro, and it's got the 8th generation uh, processor, which I was delightfully surprised at what it has the capability to do. However, um, you need to understand there's a balance, right? There's a balance with these machines. You have a, a, a higher-end processor, it's going to eat up the battery life. So, uh, you know, if you do that, then the the you know the usability of it really decreases but if you have a weaker processor you can't go and do video editing you can't you know do 3d uh, rendering and, and some of those higher things that maybe uh, an illustrator or, or an artist will do running photoshop I, i'm pretty sure it'll run photoshop pretty well i haven't done that yet <clears throat> i did install fresco and sketchbook pro so that's what we're going to use today we're going to draw some faces um it's got the standard uh, display, so we're going to look at the display really quick. I know that a lot of people uh, have uh, 
you know, questions about displays and, and the quality. Let's be real. I, I'm an illustrator, an artist. Oops, we've got a ladybug that decided to come and visit us. <clears throat> and just as long as the display is bright, I don't have huge color, uh, you know, variations and dead pixels. I'm okay with it. It's pretty snappy. Um, you know, it's got a 27 by 36, uh, 18 by 24 uh, resolution. So it is HD. Uh, you know, 1080p by 724 would be HD, but this is 2736. Now my Surface Book uh, goes upwards of 3000, so it's got a better resolution and it's got a bigger screen. My book is a 15.9 inch, so or 15.6 or 15.9. I think it's 15.6. So uh, I have installed my XP Pen remote. You guys know I love my XP Pen remote. This is great because now that I've got this installed with my little dongle on the side, I love just saying that word dongle. Um, you know, it's a little USB dongle that pops in the side and it acts as my quick keys. So now I've got my quick keys here and I can go in and illustrate and draw and do really cool things. Um, whenever I had traded, it, it unfortunately the guy that I had traded with didn't have the pin, which really sucks, but he, he did compensate me, uh, monetarily speaking, to go ahead and buy uh, a pin, which I will do. But in the meantime, I've got uh, a pen that uh, will work. It's got over 4,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. It's the Microsoft pin, and I've got this little rubber sleeve on here that helps me out. So enough talking. <clears throat> um, so let's go ahead and launch uh, Sketchbook Pro. As you see, pretty snappy, pretty quick, launches pretty quick. What, what I like about Microsoft products in general, not only is the fit and finish fantastic, but the experience is getting better and better every single time every single time that they uh, update their machines. What I like too about the kickstand is it, it's not, it doesn't lock in place, so it's not like click, 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 um, which I like uh, in fact that, you know, I don't have to sit there and adjust it, but I would like it to be just a hair tighter uh, and um, occasionally, you know, whenever I push too hard, it, it will give, which, which I understand because it doesn't want to bend. Um, Palm rejection. Is palm rejection good on the PC, uh, uh, Microsoft Surface World? Yeah, it's okay, right? I, you know, I say that just because, you know, I, I have had so many issues with palm rejection with some of the other devices that, you know, you have to realize that, that it's still a work in progress. So bear that in mind if you're going to buy a PC um, with uh, drawing capability. The the new, uh, they're not calling it Intrig anymore. It's a proprietary because Microsoft bought Intrig, so it's their active pin technology. This is not an active pin. This is the Microsoft Intrig, so it is compatible with this. I do have an active pin for my Dell uh, that's, that's actually um, compatible with Wacom. So, um, Let's go ahead and get started drawing. <clears throat> um, what am I going to draw? So we're going to draw faces, a few faces today. Pressure sensitivity is great. I love drawing on surface devices because it's got this little rubber nib, and uh, it's, in my opinion, you know, right on par with some of the Wacom tech, and sometimes, uh, in my opinion, even better. Now, is it is it uh, better overall? No, <laughs> absolutely not. Um, you know, Wacom has been doing their thing for a long, long, long time. I mean, I've had, I've used Wacom Tech all the way back, jeez, 19, uh, oh my gosh, I'm going to date myself here, 97, 98. Um, and Wacom is fantastic. Uh, they're, you know, the, the, the new companies that are coming out, your Huion, your, uh, you know, your XP pen, they're all really good as well. I haven't used a Huion or XP. Actually, I, I digress. I have used a Huion. Uh, one of my students that I taught um, when I was teaching in college, he had a Huion, and honestly, I, I didn't like it. It was cheap crap. Of course, it was probably an older Huion uh, piece. Um, you know, older Huion tablet. <clears throat> and honestly, I just didn't like it. Uh, let me see here. I'll go ahead and go down. So it is snappy. It is, you know, we've got rotate. Um, actually, let me know what rotate. Okay, rotate. Yeah, see so if we've got rotate. Uh, 
and it is, it, it's so far so good. This is really, I, I just got everything set up um, within the past uh, hour. <clears throat> so I'm literally kind of trial by fire, you know, just getting in here and messing around. Okay. Messing around with the device. <clears throat> so it's been uh, bugs. Bugs everywhere. Um, it's been interesting up here in the mountains lately because of the weather. I know that we've been having really severe weather, you know, here in the United States uh, recently across the entire country. Some of my clients, you know, they live in different parts of the country. Let's put that over here. And, you know, I've spoken with them. And they basically have iterated, you know, they've had massive storms, and it's been really, really bad, um, you know, over in Seattle and, and California and, and uh, New York and some of the other places that I deal with. <clears throat> and, of course, you know, you look at Florida, which typically has the worst weather out of all of them, and they're great, <laughs> which is hilarious. It's like... Yeah, the weather down here in Florida is beautiful. We're not having to have any issues. You know, typically Florida gets massive rainstorms every single day. And not to mention they get hurricanes. So it was kind of a surprise to me, you know, whenever you look at Florida and they're like, yeah, we're good, brah. And then ever the rest of the country is like, yeah, we're getting hammered. Been a weird year, too, uh, beginning of the year, just because, um, you know, the fact that here, I'm trying to draw and talk to you at the same time. My apologies. Um, just for the fact that the weather has been very mild. I mean, we typically, during this time, we don't get above, you know, 35 degrees uh, in the daytime. I live in the mountains in the very north part of Georgia. Um, you know, sometimes you'll hear some banjos playing, um, you know, if you go down the wrong road. And honestly, that's one of the things that I always tell my wife. I'm like, darling, you can't, you know, you can't get lost around here because if you do, you know, you don't want to have to get out and talk to people because, you know, they're mountain people. And mountain people typically don't like to talk to anybody. And just a little little tip for those of you who come up to the North Georgia mountains. Everybody's pretty friendly, but the reality is they come up to the mountains for a reason because they don't want to talk and they don't want to be around people. So you need to kind of, you know, they'll, they'll give you FaceTime, but don't invade their space because... You know, mountain people want to be left alone. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, kind of a city-fied person that moved to the mountains. So I had to learn that the hard way. And the realization that, you know, mountain people want to be left alone, pretty much. And that's the way it is. They're not racist. They're not um, adverse to other cultures, per se. They're just adverse to other humans. They don't. It's kind of a weird thing. Anyway, so uh, what am I doing today? I'm just doing faces, kind of getting in here and feeling out this device. I, I, They have improved the Surface line so much in the past few years. You know, I started out with the Surface 2, you know, I had the Surface Go, which, by the way, the Surface Go is a complete disaster. Uh, oh, my gosh. It, it, it literally stopped. I had to, I had to, I ordered it, and within 30 days of me ordering it, the touch stopped working. So then... I had to send it back. They sent me another one. And then within uh, another uh, two months, the touch stopped working again. And I just think it has to do with the support from Microsoft and how they didn't really, you know, update those devices. You know, I think I paid $100 for it back in the day. And now I, it's just a, a paperweight. It's cool looking. It's made of magnesium. And, and if it worked, it'd be great. It still runs, uh, I think, Windows 8 or 7. Anywho, so um, Sketchbook Pro, you know, Sketchbook Pro running on the Surface Pro is one of the best programs out there. I can't even stress it enough. I, I love the way it feels. I love whenever you draw and this rubber nib right here goes across and the friction that it causes. It just, it's, there is nothing like, you know, working on the Surface. Here's some free brushes that I downloaded. So let's go ahead and we'll select that brush. We'll drag it over here. And we'll select this brush. We'll drag it over here. And we'll select this brush. We'll drag it over. Oh, I think I already got that one. Do I? No. I love the skin brushes. They're absolutely wonderful. These brushes, believe it or not, if you download Sketchbook for free from their website, Alias, or I'm sorry, Autodesk, 
You can download this program for free. It works on PC, Mac. It even works on an iPad. I'm sure that it also works on Android devices. Of course, I don't own Android devices yet. And all these brushes, guys, are free. Look at all these brushes. So there is no excuse if you make no money at all, but you have a computer. You're like, bro, I don't have enough money for Photoshop. I, I can't afford, you know, the money it takes. And then that's fine. Download this program. You know, it's completely free. Um, so we're going to go in here. We're going to put a little texture. Like he's got some freckles on his nose. Nice. And you notice there is no lag, guys. This is an i5, 4 gigs of RAM, 8th generation uh, processor, and it's not screaming, right? It's quiet. I don't have any fans. It does have the capability. Um, it does have cooling fans on the inside. But right now, it's not taxing the processor at all. It's one great feeling machine. Um... It does have a absence of peripherals, peripheral ports. So on this side, as you see, it's pretty clean. No peripheral ports except for the headphone jack. And on this side, you have which looks to be a DVI out or a mini display out. Then it's got a USB, I believe three, no USB-Cs. And then it's got the charge port. Um, it doesn't even have, even have an SD card slot. Uh, it does have the mini uh, SD on the back. So just to keep that in mind if you're going to go ahead and use this for any type of uh, work machine because uh, in terms of peripherals you're going to have to use a dongle or you're going to have to use some other type of device. I just love saying the word dongle or other type of device um, whenever you go and start working. <clears throat> okay so let's go ahead I'm going to make this I'm going to go ahead and make this brush pretty big. I'm going to try and kill the machine real quick. So here's See, there's no lag. That that brush is huge. I mean, that look how big that brush is. And it she ain't she ain't. You know, let's go ahead and make this really big. So this is a textured brush. Nothing. Wonderful. Just a wonderful experience. One thing I don't like though. Okay. Okay. So no, I was gonna say one thing I don't like is whenever I hit my XP Pen remote. It kept putting the, the puck up in the left-hand side. I didn't like that. Um, it is Windows 10. It is Windows 10 Personal Edition, I believe. It's not the Pro Edition? Let me check really quick. System about... Okay, device, Windows... Windows. Oh, Windows 10 Pro! So, I updated yesterday, and I guess it updated me to the Pro Edition, because it is a Pro machine. They got a lot of flack for doing that. You know, you sell a Pro machine with the Pro in the Word, and lo and behold, it's not a Pro operating system, which didn't make a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay, so drawing, you know, drawing on machines like this, one of the things that I always tell, or I used to tell students, was, it is a tool. And... Gosh, one of the things that always I noticed, um, especially whenever I started teaching illustration to students that had interest in being an illustrator or graphic design, was the fact that a lot of them had never drawn on a computer. Um, there's a lot of options out there for machines. And, you know, one of the things that I did uh, early on, you know, after I got hired, was I actually brought in a, uh, a Cintiq, uh, one of the Cintiqs that I don't use. I had a Cintiq that I didn't use. It was a 21 UX. It was old. It's probably 15 years old. But it still worked great. Um, but a lot of the kids got on it and they freaked out. They're like, oh my gosh, Mr. Mike, I can't understand. I, I, I'm, I'm, my mind is blown. Something like this exists. And I'm like, dude, this technology has been around for years. Um, now, granted, I'm in the mountains. Granted, you know, I'm not, I wasn't teaching at a per se art school. So, you know, a lot of the students, even though they were serious about what they did, just didn't really have the exposure to, um, you know, to the tools of trade. And that was one of the things that I brought in. I brought in a bunch of devices. I brought in my iPad Pros. I brought in my HP. I had a Dell. I brought in, you know, my Surface. Um, and I just let them work on them, you know, and they, a lot of them were just, oh gosh, they were so dumbfounded 
not dumbfounded, that's the wrong phrase. They were, um, they were exuberant <laughs> in the fact that this technology existed. And a lot of them, you know, for the Christmas season went out and they bought a, uh, uh, a device, and which was really cool. Unfortunately, I didn't get the opportunity to, you know, experience a lot of them uh, after uh, I got let go uh, from the department. You know, it's one of those deals where, you know, politics and money and everything else happened. And, of course, in today's uh, day and age with the Internet, I think that the enrollment in, you know, higher education has really changed a lot. So they just didn't have the money <laughs> to pay, you know, pay me um, to teach. And, and that's fine. You know, I, I, I was kind of, cancel, I was kind of upset at the beginning, but, you know, if I can teach you guys here, then I'm just as happy, um, you know. Anyway, so, drawing faces. Now, he, he, one of the things you got to remember, too, not all technology is the same. So, this device, uh, being a Surface device, even though I'm touting its, its wonderfulness and how it draws, it does have a flaw, and I'm going to show you the flaw in two seconds here after I get done drawing. So if you notice, and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit for you guys. We're going to zoom in. Hopefully my computer won't or my camera won't explode. So we're going to move this over a little bit. Um, so I'm going to draw really slow vertically. And you're going to notice what a wonderful straight line. I've got a little wiggle, but that has to do with my hand. And I can actually see my hand, you know, just wiggle a little bit. Then we're going to go horizontal. Oh, man, just wonderful. And I'm drawing pretty slow. I've got a little bit of wiggle here and there. And again, that has to do with <clears throat> the friction of this tip. Where the problem lies with their technology is the diagonal. So the diagonal line, now watch, the diagonal line If you notice, it, it, it's got a consistent wiggle. So like right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. All these consistent little wiggles, I can actually, one, two, three, four, five. You can see the wiggles happening. Now, is that a game changer? I think it is for some people. If you're a vector artist and, you're, and you want a really clean line, and you want to use that clean line to create high-end, technical illustrations, it's extremely frustrating. Um, I don't have that problem on my PC Dell that uses the Wacom uh, technology. It just has to do with the digitizer and how they've created and integrated that digitizer on the screen and how it in interacts with this tip. They've changed the math, <coughs> excuse me, they've changed the math with regards to how, you know, the processor um, let me try to get this in here. And how the processor processes the uh, the data, you know, in the inputs. But you know, even even they probably put an integrated smoother. You can buy a smoother, and there's a smoother here. So if I put the smoother on, let's go put it on to like 46. Wonderful. And the smoother, even the smoother, look, completely straight. But the problem with that is, is I don't work with smoothers, ever. I don't work with smoothers because I want complete control over my line. You know, as an artist, you can use a smoother however you want to. That's not my problem, not my issue, not, not my, you know, I don't have anything to do with that. But for me, I don't use, uh, I don't use smoothers. <clears throat> have I ever used a smoother? Sure. You know, there's instances where I do, but I want to feel, you know, the, uh, the line. Okay, so, what a great device. You know, you can pick one of these up for 350 bucks. Uh, palm rejection, so far, so good. I haven't had one false positive. Look at that. No false positives at all. Look at that. So now if I do this... That's interesting. Look at that. So if I do my finger, it'll do it. But if I put my hand down, nothing. What is this alchemy? Oh, that 
it's rocking! See my other machines? Dude, if I touch the screen, I get false positives. But look, finger works, palm does not. And the pin is all the way over here. That is pretty epic. I wish my other devices would work that way. You hear me, other devices? Are you listening? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> As you see, my drawings are kind of sucking this morning. But uh, hopefully you guys are getting something from the review of the device. It is a great, like I said, it is a great device. You know, um, let's go ahead and file, save as. The thing is, it, there's so many other factors in devices like this that you really need to kind of think about. Um, let me see, image one, that's fine, image. Uh, you know, whenever you have the smaller hard drive, the SSD, you're going to have a different cache that it processes data. If you have a larger, um, if you have a large, let's go ahead and do this. If you have a larger hard drive, you're going to have a, uh, the, the hard drive is going to have ability to process more data at once. So I recommend you getting possibly the 256 minimum, um, for this device. If you're going to buy one. I recommend obviously getting the Microsoft uh, pen that has the 4,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. Here, let's go ahead and bring up the brushes again. Da, 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 da. Where's the brush that I like? It's number three. I'm just gonna drag number three over to here. I love number three. It's got texture on it. Look at that texture. That is beautiful. Okay. Um, you know, in, in terms of i7, believe it or not, I've, I've watched and read different, uh, different reviews of the i7, and a lot of them say don't buy the i7 because the i5 with the RAM is just as fast, or it's really close to being just as fast, and it's cheaper, and uh, the battery life's a little bit better. Because what happens is, once you start getting these machines up to their, oh, I need to go ahead, I need to adjust this because I don't like, I need to go opacity with heavy, opacity with light, good, flow, we're going to go a little bit heavier, good, okay, flow with light, size, okay, let's see if that solved my issue, yes, um, and two, what happens is if you get, if the machine gets too hot or if the machine basically, gets uh, overloaded in some capacity, the integral um, controller will basically throttle it and you won't get the speed that you really want anyway. Now, can you override some of those? I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a computer person per se. I do know enough about PCs to get me in trouble. Um, oops, that's sucking. But I think that, you know, I would go with a 512 i5. Now, I say that, and, and, you know, given the opportunity, I would get the fastest one if it, if it was the same price. So just take it, you know, depending on what you do and how you work, I think will definitely dictate. Whoops. I think will definitely dictate. Um, actually, I've got this programmed. <laughs> I program my, my Control-Z as a quick key and I'm not using it. Um, that's alchemy. Look at that. It won't draw because it, it feels that it's the... That is awesome. Maybe that's an update. Maybe my other computers will do the same thing. I'm going to check that out after this. Da -da -da. <sighs> yeah. Just having some fun this morning. Just reviewing this device. I will be using this device, and you're like, well, Mike, why don't you use the, you know, the Surface Book? The Surface Book is great. It's a little bit bulkier, and I remember whenever I got it, I thought to myself, gosh, you know, it's a little bit bulkier. It's big, and the same thing with my Dell. It's a little bit bigger. Now, whenever I go to draw like this, if I'm on a table, that's fine. It's a big device, but whenever I'm sitting maybe in a cafe or... You know, and I've got this device handy, and the battery life on this is supposed to be upwards of like 15 hours. So let's give it some hair in the back. And, you know, let's see, shall I go here? Yeah, so, so, so. And it has a button on the inside. So obviously, I could. 
I can mess everything up. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and go back. I'm going to give him some some texture. Oops, we're going to go back to texture. And you notice she ain't missing a beat, you know? Ain't missing a beat, man. This, this machine is wonderful. I'm going to have so much fun with this machine. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll go back. We'll put some texture up here. Make this bigger here, like he's got a shaved head. Whoops. Make sure that hairline comes up. Down. Yeah, just fun, right? We're having fun this morning. So I think that, do I recommend the Surface Pro 5? Yeah. Is it expensive? Yeah. Do I think that it's better than any other all-in-ones? No. Service devices are going to be more expensive because you put that little that little Microsoft um, doodad on there. You know, one of the things that I thought, and, and this is after I started working on my Dell, because Dell has, it, it's a shell, right? The Dell shell. And then I have the HP shell because it's, you know, the, the core of the operating system is Windows. Yeah, there was a little hesitation there. Did you see that? So I pressed, maybe it was, I don't know. Either way... You know, it's got they've got shells, so because they have to put their stamp on stuff. Their stamp being, you know, HP's got to have their drivers. They, Dell's got to have their drivers. You just can't put a Microsoft Windows operating system on there on a Dell machine and not expect Dell to do something like that. So you have updates to different Dell. Um, you know, they have control. You know, one of the things that I thought, because I always, you know, think about these things, obviously, because, you know, I'm, I'm that way. Oh, see? Quick key. Look, I've got my... Eyedropper right there, so if I want to change the color, boom, boom, you know, and then if I want to change the size, I've got my little scroll wheel here, fantastic. These are about 35 bucks on Amazon if you're interested, whoops, if you're interested in getting an XP Pen remote, I highly recommend it if you have a Surface device. It'll change your life. It'll change your workflow. It's not going to change your life. You're not going to go and, you know, tell your kids about your new XP Pen remote. Guys, check this out. It's changed my life. I'm just, I'm just being silly. Um, anyway, and I always think that Microsoft is slowing down products that have a shell. You know, they're like, hey, 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 that HP that has the same processor isn't really the same speed as our Microsoft products, is it? Huh. I wonder why. Maybe you should buy our, our, our you know, our Surface line. Surfaces are expensive, guys. Um, comparable to, uh, you know, like your, it's not even in the same class as the Macintosh because the Macintosh is just a laptop, you know, and I, and I love Macs. I've had laptops, Mac laptops before, but you know, whenever I can draw on a computer, it's, it's a much better situation for me uh, overall. Uh, in terms of speed, you can't really compare and contrast because Windows is not Mac OS. Mac OS is just awesome. <laughs> uh, and I use Macs in my day-to-day, -day, and I also use PCs in my day-to-day. -day. So I think what I'm trying to get across to you guys is the fact that this, the Microsoft Surface Pro 5, is a wonderful, wonderful machine um, just for drawing, uh, you know, all-in-one, hanging out. You know, I don't need a super powerful machine. I'm not doing anything massive and it's eating everything up and the battery life eh, it's just so so you know i've been on it now for about two hours three hours drawing <clears throat> not drawing i've been on it for two about two or three hours and i started with it at about 65 percent and we're down to 58 percent and i've been taxing it on the maximum setting performance and the screen brightness is a maximum and you know it's not plugged in so not bad, not great, but again, not bad. Wonderful sensitivity. And I am repeating myself. I had somebody say, you repeat yourself a lot. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, brah. Okay. In terms of character design, could be a great resource for those of you guys who are interested in getting into digital illustration. You can pick up, like I said, one of these pieces for one of these uh, services for pretty inexpensive, um, you know, if you get the lower line. So, Sketchbook Pro, 
on the Surface, one of the best programs to use on here. I also have installed Adobe Fresco, so let's go ahead and save this file. Save. <clears throat> Loading documents. So let's do. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. I had a little bit of a technical difficulty. Um, so what I'm realizing, uh, I've activated Fresco, Adobe Fresco, on the Surface device. And even though it says it's compatible with the different devices, um, this particular device, it's not compatible with the live brushes. If any of you guys are familiar with the live brushes, that includes the watercolor, the painting, I mean, there's a myriad of brushes that are supported on other devices. I do have a Surface Book, and the processor is older, but it's got more RAM, and uh, it's got more hard drive space. So I'm thinking possibly that that is the reason why this particular device is not supported when it comes to that. It just it, it doesn't have the capability <clears throat> uh, to support uh, a graphics uh, intensive, heavy uh, process such as a live brush. Um, so that being said, what I'm going to do is just do a little bit of sketching uh, here and there uh, on uh, in Fresco. Uh, Fresco is one of those one of those programs that I think has a love hate relationship. Um, we're going to do a side uh, face here. It has a love hate relationship. Uh, because whenever it first came out and they showed some of the live brushes, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, how incredible a program it will be once it comes out. <clears throat> See, I'm trying to use my uh, quick keys here as well, but unfortunately I don't have it programmed, and then I went in and I tried to program it, and some of the stuff that happens on my other devices is not happening here, like the zoom in and out. So I don't know exactly what's going on. But, you know, Fresco has its qualities, <laughs> its good qualities, and its bad qualities. But in terms of running it on this particular device, because that's the reason why I did this review, it seems to run it really good, other than the fact that I don't have access to the live brushes, which, in my opinion, is, whoops, is the best qualities about Fresco. Now, if I were to go over on my Surface Book, which is one generation earlier, uh, than this, because this has the eighth generation i set or i5. My book has the um, the earlier uh, version uh, of the processor. I think it's the sixth generation. But uh, I I can use the live brushes on that machine. Maybe there's a driver that I've missed on here. I don't really know, and I'm sorry. I wish I knew. I wish I knew. So as you see, it doesn't hang up at all. It's it's got a great uh, feel to it, you know. These this new update recently, it looks like they've solved the palm rejection issue. Which, if you guys watch the drawing frustration I had in Adobe Fresco, especially on the Mac or on the uh, on the iPad, was monumental. Oh my gosh, it was so bad. So again, it's still raining here. Oh. I'm not a rain guy. Some people love the rain. I'm a sunshine guy. Like, I love the sunshine. Of course, whenever I, I'm working and it's sunshiny outside, it makes me want to go outside and go and, and frolic in the sunshine. Okay, so this is, I don't know what this is. Oh, that's the eraser. I forgot, I haven't used Adobe Fresco in a while because I thought that it needed some time to bake. So let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Good. It's got nice, uh, nice pressure sensitivity. But again, if you're a really heavy Fresco user, I do not recommend this device right now because it doesn't support your live brushes. So, if that makes sense, hopefully it does. You don't want to buy something that, you know, just isn't going to work. I'm actually really surprised it doesn't work. I thought it worked on my on my my old Surface, my Surface Pro 3. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know why. Not supported. Live brushes are not supported on this device. It has to be because it's an i5, you know, weaker processor. That's what I would think. 
Yeah. Kind of a weird <laughs> sketch. Not really that good, to be honest with you. This here needs to come down. So that's kind of what I wanted to show you guys today. I wanted to show you kind of the first swing, literally out of the gate. Sometimes, you know, your your YouTube creators will have the devices for weeks, and then they'll they'll present this really polished uh, video, you know, with graphics and and animations, and it's very entertaining. Um, and honestly, I, I think that's fine. But a lot of times as an artist, and especially somebody that's going to plunk down a huge amount of money, and another thing, if they receive this device as compensation for doing the videos, there is going to be a bias there. I don't care what they say. I got this device and I'm not going to be biased at all. You know, they gave me this $3,000 $3, tablet and, you know, I'm not going to have a biased opinion about it. Bull crap. You're going to say something good. You might say a couple negative things, but overall, I mean, if you get to keep the device, I mean, the reality is, is you're going to give them a, a positive um, review. I bought, I, I didn't buy this device, but I have bought other devices. You guys know that I don't get anything for free. Um, unless, of course, a client gives it to me, and that's a little bit different. You know, it's still, I didn't buy it, but I didn't have it uh, given to me as part of a, a compensation for giving a positive review, right? That's not who I am. That's not what I do. Okay, maybe he's maybe he's a a spaceman. Yeah, little sock they put on whenever they get into the the space capsule here, right? It's got these locks on the back, lock on the front. All right, comes around here. Huge space helmet. <clears throat> and that comes around. Comes around that. Make that a little bit bigger. Again, just a first swing with this device this morning. Put a little highlight right here. Let's go ahead and increase the brush size. Yeah, I mean, if the live brushes worked on this thing, shoot, I'd take this thing everywhere. If I used Adobe Fresco, you know, which I don't. Let's look. Let's see. What do we got here? Rakes, painting. Hmm. Well, we got quite a few. Ruffin. The Ruffin brush. Ooh, I like that. Because you guys know I like it rough. <sighs> natural brush. Natural. Flat dry. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, nice. It's like a watercolor flat dryish brush. that in, yeah. Okay. All right, you guys, that's it for today. My apologies for the little hiccup and how dark this is. I don't really understand why it's so dark. I gotta figure that out. Hopefully, um, you know, the next video will be a little bit better. I am back on the Canon. I was using my phone for a while and until I get my new 4K camera, which should be happening in the next 30 days, uh, we will be kind of doing a trial and error um, when it comes to the best options for the camera and t and 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 uh, and taping. <laughs> taping. That's funny. Nobody uses videotape anymore. Yeah, I'm I'm in my forties and we're taping stuff today. That's what we're doing because that's how I know videotape stuff. A little shadow on the top. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it for today. Do I recommend the Surface Pro 5? Yeah, I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't support Fresco or Fresco doesn't, you know, work on this machine. But, you know, Sketchbook works fantastic. I mean, love it. I'll probably put Photoshop on here just to kind of test the waters and see how she flies. Um, but other than that, 
300, 350 bucks, you know, the price of an iPad Pro. Do I think the iPad Pro is better? In some respect, yeah. But what you're getting with this device, especially if you go with like a 6 or a 7, you're getting a full version of Windows. I mean, the Windows 10 Pro. So if you get the, the 16 gigs of RAM, the dedicated GPU, actually it doesn't have a dedicated GPU in the Surface Pro line, only the Surface Book 2. If you get the 16 gigs of RAM in the i7 processor or the i5, I think you might be able to have a really reliable, incredible machine. Um, do I think there's better options? Probably. But if you're a, a diehard Microsoft fan, I think that your option for using this is great. You know, it's got the, the Hello Windows Hello with the HD camera here. I think that's 720. And then, a, 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 I don't know what's on the back. Maybe it, maybe it, high definition. Either way, great machine. Um, I'll do some more testing on it to make sure that it is a viable option. But in terms of snappiness, great fun, you know, sitting down on the couch working on this bad boy, you know, cranking out some artworks. I think it's a great option for those people that look, you know, looking to get into digital illustration uh, in general, you know. And, um, you know, kudos to Microsoft for making such a great product, Dry Media. Dry Media. Okay, rough pencil, scratchy, soft chalk. Ooh, Ooh that's pretty. Anyway, thank you guys for liking and subscribing. I'll try to do a live stream on Thursday. I haven't decided if it's 1 o'clock or 12 o'clock or when it's going to be. 2 o'clock's a nice... 1 o'clock. Yeah, 1 o'clock's a nice time because a lot of people are at work and, and, and maybe they turn me on and listen to me for an hour and a half. I don't want to go over an hour and a half uh, on those drawings just because, you know, I've got a job to do. So hopefully Thursday's the day. Come visit me on this channel, you guys. Thank you guys once again for visiting, and we'll see you next time. Bye.